Welcome to my Elevate friends. I'm just going to give you a quick video update because I've got a test today and it's just going to take too long to type it all out. So, first thing I want to do, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, obviously, from the other day, I posted the trend line and the chart and then the OVV as well for it, showing that it is bullish still because you haven't broken down below this horizontal support level. And clearly, we have bounced a bit higher, probably around this level here. Um, obviously it's like a support range here because you have these tiny highs, tiny highs, tiny highs and that produces a uh, OBV bouncing zone basically like a bullish order block almost so well, pretty similar um, anyway <clears throat> at the moment macro daily is still bullish as you can see clearly we bounced pretty nicely and then if we can close above this MSB range this is a low time frame or four hour basically MSB <clears throat> right here so we've closed the four hour above it but if we close the daily above it it's a pretty good sign for bullish continuation <clears throat> sorry about my throat don't know what the hell's wrong with it <clears throat> too many shearless um now rsi is just below the 50 mark so it's still in bearish territory however it's very close to crossing above it but we can't assume it's going to cross we always got to trade with what's in front of us um wma is a bearish still and there's still bearish crossover up there super trend is going to be bearish yep that's to be expected but that doesn't mean that we won't see a rally up until about these highs here which most likely would align with the resistance move that out of the way um around that level there so if anything i can see us rally because the obv is still bullish um i can see us rally up until about 40, yeah, we'll just say 45k, just for simplicity. Um, and that will give OBV time to actually climb up and actually hit this high time frame resistance line. And then from there, let me zoom out, let me show you guys the resistance line. Um, it's just this trend line here. And then from there, we can see either we have this trend here, whether this trend line will be supported meaning that once price reaches this diagonal resistance, um, if price comes back, tests it, and then bounces through and breaks this top line resistance, it's bullish. But then we can also see whether or not this gets invalidated and we get a close below, which then gives me the idea that we will actually be rejecting these levels here. Okay, That's my idea so far with Bitcoin. Low time frame is pretty noisy at the moment I, don't, I was obviously asleep for some of this but i don't know why it just automatically pumped like that it's probably something to do with some bullish news who knows um hourly showing great strength in terms of obv however it has reached obv resistance as you can see here clear resistance line which stopped price right in its tracks but if you're looking for a long which I am going to be doing only because the four hour, I believe, has flipped bullish. Oh, she's on the cusp of it. Okay. I'm, I will be longing this region here, mainly because you have this market structure break. Just, I'm going to get rid of this one here just so you guys can better see it. We have a market structure break from about this level here. Okay, and usually the way I like to trade it is that we'll have a pullback and then we bounce. And then usually I target the next resistance level or next MSB, which will probably be around this level here at 42k. But if I want to hold it longer because it's da um, the daily trend is showing bullishness or whatnot, um, I can hold it longer. But I like to play level by level just for simplicity. And at the moment, there's no telling as to whether or not price will break through this resistance. But if price breaks back down to this MSB here at 40k, we will be wanting this level here on OBV to hold. We do not want to see OBV below here. Okay, so bearish. Oh, that's not how you spell bearish. Bearish below. Okay, and then the same goes for the upside. This up here would be bullish if OBV enters this zone. 
Um, so most likely what's going to happen in my eyes is that we are going to slowly pull back here down to this MSB. Um, and what that's going to allow OBV to do is it's going to slightly range down a tiny bit to maybe this level here. Let me just make that clear. Um, so if OBV, uh, sorry, if price slowly drops to this MSB region, OBV or the volume profile wouldn't really be too affected because it's not high volume, allowing for once we reach this zone here, <clears throat> any significant volume that comes in will break OBV above resistance. So <clears throat> at the moment, I'm just looking for a pullback to this level here. However, if we lose this low here, I'm going to be bearish because that's obviously a strong support. Um, this one here obviously is a very significant level. However, you've got to remember that there is such a price difference between this level here which correlates to this uh, peak here in OBV so that to that there's a huge um, huge difference between OBV versus price in my opinion so I, I'm more cautious about this here this level here being broken to be honest thinking about it now in retrospect so Mainly, just watch one hour OBV, make sure it doesn't drop below this level. If it drops below and get two, two or so closes below, we can start looking for shorts, because I think then the price will probably be a fake out, and then instead it'll do this, and then this, and who knows. Who knows how low it'll go, but my guess would be a retest of at least um, this, what's that, 39656 level, if that happens. Anyway, update done. I'm going to go and check ETH. And I'll see you guys in a sec.